Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lorelei. I um, have the house to myself, so I figured I would swatch some inks that just came in. So I approached Lao of Kenchan Crafts. Kenchan Crafts. And um, asked him if he would want to maybe do an ink swap or um, exchange letters. And he said, yes, both. So um, I sent him a link to my fountain pen companion ink list, and he created one himself and sent it to me. So then we could choose what inks we were interested in trying out. Uh, and his package arrived today. I sent my package um, a week or so ago and he received that as well on his end. Um, so his package arrived and he sent me this beautiful collage. Look at how pretty this is. I, this is right up my alley. I just love it. It's so beautiful. I love this metallic washi and the girl sticker. Oh, it's just perfect. So I love that. I wanted to share. Here are the inks that he sent me. Thankfully, none of them leaked. He did have each of these wrapped in cellophane, which I have already removed and I'm gonna swatch these inks today there are seven of them I'm gonna be swatching in my ink swatch notebook this is a this is a Tamal River paper notebook um, by Hobonichi I generally put my samples on the left and my bottles on the right. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to use my brass nib kakimori pen, dip pen. I have some water off camera here. And I'm going to use the metal condiment cup. Let's get started. So the first one I'm swatching is Kobe. It's number 64 and the color is Sumi Yoshi Jade Green. Oh, I forgot my little, my holder. I forgot my little holder here. This will help matters. So I don't spill anything. Oh, and I think I need a, I need a, um, a pipe. Pipette. It's a gorgeous color. I love it. But I can't go wrong with green in my book. The next one is Ferris Wheel Press Sugar and Spite. 
This is a shimmering ink. I'm not sure I got any of the shimmer at the bottom of the barrel, but we'll see. It's just gorgeous purpley magenta color. It's got good flow off the nib, which is nice. I like it. It looks a lot different to me in person than it does on the computer screen. This next one is Mont Blanc Petit Prince Red Fox. This is a color that is no longer being sold. Um, it was a limited edition, I think, from Mont Blanc, or maybe it's just discontinued now. But um, it's hard to find an affordable bottle of it for sale anywhere, so I am taking the opportunity to try it out. But if I love it, I'm kind of SOL, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> because it's not really... It's not really accessible. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm not sure I love that anyway. This um, this kind of reminds me of another color that I recently swatched. Um, I think it was Red Brick Chimney. But I can't remember the, the maker. But it's kind of that green leaning red. It's a little bit of a wonky red color. Kind of a blood color red red that I don't particularly love. So I'm glad to see that now in person because I don't think I would buy it. It does have nice flow though off the nib. Yeah, I would say a dupe is that red brick chimney. When that dries a little more, I can look at my swatch. Next up is Fierce Wheel Press Blushing Mushroom. This is another shimmering ink, so I'll make sure to agitate that a little bit so we can see some of the shimmer. Oh. 
Ooh, that's so light. Oh my goodness. Very dry. You can tell because it's just not coming off the nib very well. It looks like a very pale gray, purple gray. Oh, I'm not even in sc on the screen. <sighs> it's kind of a purple gray color. This is going to be pretty, but this is more of a um, this is more of an ink that I would do. I would like use it as a for art, maybe. I don't know how it would act in a pen, but we'll see eventually. Next up is. Kosumosu, Kosumosu. I think this is a Pilot Aroshizuku ink, if I remember correctly. It's kind of a pink, a pink color. Oh yeah, love it. It's so bright. Mosu. Yeah, I would buy that. That's pretty. Very pretty. Lao has a wonderful ink collection. So many good ones. There is a little bit of shimmer showing on the purple, on the sugar and spite. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Two more to go. First one is Pilot Orochizuku Inaho. And of course, uh, you probably already know that this is also a very elusive ink that's no longer available for sale, which is sad because from what I understand, it was a favorite. And I'm not sure why they're resisting, you know, recreating it, or at least creating something similar. I love it. Oh yeah, beautiful. That's a good one. I can see now why everyone likes it. Really nice. I just put my finger in the, I just put my whole hand in that pink swatch. <laughs> Last one, thank goodness. Dominant, Dominant Industry Lake.
very pretty. Hopefully you're seeing that okay. I'll have to ask Lau what his favorite teal is. I like that a lot. I like all of them a lot. Oh. Must resist buying more ink. When these dry, I'll come back and show them to you and see if I have anything in my collection that resembles any of them. Okay, we're, we're just about dry here, so I'll give you a... Closer look. The blushing mushroom is really nice, but I don't know about in a pen. There is some gold sheening on the pink, which is cool. I just love this. <laughs> Dang it. Dang you, pilot. They're all beautiful. So this is a favorite color. I'm sure I have something similar to that. In fact, off the top of my head, I'm thinking, no, it's a little bluer than Moss Park Green. Looks like the base color of this dominant industry. Looks a lot like maybe greener than Frontenac blue. Looks a lot like Pannonia Patina. Sugar and Spite. Oh, looks a little bit like a Kebby. That might be the only one. Oh no. Double Raspberry. A little bit, but this has Shimmer. a little bit like jingleberry not too many similar petite prince fox looks like Color Traveler Red Brick Chimney. Yeah, very similar to that. I don't think I have anything that's like Blushing Mushroom. The closest might be Peg Tanny. 
Peg Tangy. I don't know how to say it. From Vinta. Kosumosu. Kind of reminded me of uh, Pink Eraser from Ferris Wheel Press. No, this is like more bubblegum pink. This is a little redder. It's a little bit like Tachi and Momo pink, maybe a that and that mixed together would make this. Anyway, um, I definitely don't have anything that looks like Inaho, I don't think. Ish, kind of. Queen and Castle, but has shimmer though. Goose Poupon, maybe? Similar? You can tell I like that color because I do have quite a few that kind of look like it. <laughs> Weeping Willow by Birmingham, sort of similar. And the lake kind of reminds me of Brilliant Mint. That's pretty close from Taranishi. So anyway, I hope you liked this video and um, let me know what you think of these inks. Do you have a favorite? Have you tried any of them in pens? Let me know all the things down in the comments below. If you liked my video, give me a thumbs up. It will um, make sure that my video is shown to other awesome people like you. And um, subscribe to my channel because I've been doing a lot more of this kind of video um, versus uh, knitting vlogs because I haven't been knitting that much because I'm too busy playing with pens. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.